there's a, a new environment that we are building, which is becoming uh, more and more inclusive. We can call it an infosphere. You shouldn't just think of, uh, of a library or cyberspace or you know, the books in, on the shelves or your, your mobile phones. But you should also think of your GPS or the fact that you know, we can analyze our DNA and so, and so forth. And if we start thinking in terms of a, a whole global environment in which we live, and future generations will spend more and more time in that environment. And if we look at individuals as these informational agents, agents that like fish in water, they can swim in the infosphere much more easily. That's their environment. That's where they find themselves at home. Put together these two things and then you start realizing that there's something that puts a lot of pressure on, on these uh, new information organisms in two ways. On the one hand, as never before, increasingly, but more and more so today, we are building the environment in which future generations will spend most of their time. Now that is an enormous ethical responsibility. We've done this already, you know, with big cities and other similar sort of social constructions. Just think how much bigger the picture there is. So infogs in the infosphere will have more and more so in the future the responsibility of constructing the right environment. At the same time, in that environment, you can take the perspective, which is a perspective, not the only perspective, that a lot of agents are interacting with each other. Agents which do not have to be a single human being. When we are interacting with, for example, big corporates, uh, governments, NGOs, a single individual, a family, a political party, all those entities can be agents in the infosphere. And therefore, who is accountable for what and where the responsibility is going to be allocated when something goes well but also wrong, it becomes a much more difficult game to play than when it was just you and me in a single island and either it's your fault or mine. And that was the end of the game. So those are the two sort of uh, lines uh, where responsibility are going to play a bigger role in the future. Who is responsible for what in terms of construction of the environment and what kind of agents are going to interact with each other and who is responsible for what when so many different agents, complex, hybrid or single union uh, are going to interact with each other.